Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Plapper. Platypus is the name. Welcome back to another Octopath COTC video. Today, we're going to be doing a Twitch. It will, I guess, just a stream highlight. I stream on YouTube as well. Um, yeah, this is the Paradise fight. This is chapter seven. So if you want to be here live for cool, awesome moments like this, like me doing cool, hard story bosses or me doing, I don't know, you know, just make sure to stop by live and you could have been in the chat hanging out with me. But in case you missed it, I did want to highlight this as this is a really, really good fight. And you can kind of look through my whole thought process. Um, and you can tell by the length of the video that we're watching right now. Uh, it takes almost an hour. And this is almost pure boss fighting. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please like. Do the all the YouTube shit. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. The boss is so... So much harder for three form for real. Well, you know what? I have only maybe I wasn't close at all. Is this the end of Master of All? Yes. I only got to the second phase. Oh, sorry. Um, I already watched this earlier, so I'm not gonna watch it a second time. Evil Santa Claus has arrived. Make you a mod, you'll ban them. Hey, Pack Demon. You know what? If there's one person that I trust to be a mod, it's you right there. Pack Demon is now a moderator on my channel. Thank you, Pack Demon. Impudent brats. You can't ban on YouTube, really? Interesting. Only mute for five minutes. Good job, Pack Demon. You've earned it. Years of friendship has bought you a moderation. Now you can finally stop pretending to be my friend. All right, so we got some ice. How do we start this fight, do you think? How much SP do we, we use in this fight? That's kind of what I'm trying to decide right now. I do think I want to open with an anti-attack. I don't know. Is that... Is this fight hard enough to need the anti-attack? Hmm. Thank you for the follow. Um, Rock Crazy. Also, five minutes ago, Tesla04 subscribed on YouTube. Thank you. I don't know if that gives me notifications. Um, crippling, okay, maybe we just crippling bash. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. It's going to be running a little chunky because I'm streaming it from my phone. You know, that's just, that just kind of the deal. All right, so now you're good. I think we are going to do an esoteric cure this turn for two juice. Actually, you don't even really care because you don't have any good juice to this whole fight. So I think you're going to Crippling Bash a couple more times. You're going to double sting. Battle of the Blizzard is so expensive, though. But it is helping break, but it is 32. We might need to not use up too much SP in this phase. I'm going to go all out on phase two in hopes that phase three is not impossible. That it's like, may, like I'm, don't spoil it if you could avoid it. Obviously, I'm live. I can't stop people from doing what they're going to do. But I'm assuming phase three either doesn't use my party, uses only my protagonist, or I'm going to be using like the his daughter or something. And it's going to be like uh, the fight where we are using his other daughter, but this time will be way more powerful. So you just don't want to fuck up and you could win. That's my guess. Okay, maybe phase three is just another phase two, but harder. You thought you, I had Sophia? I do not. I do not have Sophia. But when I get Sophia, I'll use it. All right, you're going to triple edge forever. I think you're done with your triple strikes. I actually want to el elemental collapse you for as much for as long as I can. You can't switch. That's okay. You're using so much SP, though. Maybe this is the turn you just do a full-on in, uh, insight. That way, when he we don't kill him after he's broken, we um hopefully don't just get wrecked. Did, oh, did I accidentally boost her? I did not mean to boost her. That was a huge mistake if I did. Or maybe, no, maybe I didn't boost her. Maybe it was just from the, uh, from when I had her use her attack down. Yeah, 
Yeah, actually, this is going to be a kind of a mistake because we're going to switch him out. Maybe we don't switch out. Maybe we keep him here. Yeah, but he's probably going to do AoE anyway, right? And everyone's at full HP, so I think we're fine. 9,000 almost. That's not too shabby. Millard bringing in. You're right, allies. I actually brought good allies. I forgot about that already. Light two times, bow three times, sword three times, and um, bow three times. We can only use four times in a fight anyway, so we might as well use this now, right? We have you with the SP thing, so you can just kind of keep going. I want a crippling bash. I don't want your attack to reset. Well, how long? Oh, it still has five turns on it? Really? We do have to switch you out. We've used all your SP already. Let's get some toxic arrows going. Let's see if we get... Oh, no. We got to heal, though, don't we? You're going to do something big, probably. All right. Let's just, let's, just, let's just heal. And then we'll switch you out afterwards. Hmm. No. We'll do it like this because you're going to AOE. Oh, no, that's right. You just do an attack and you you shuffle. Oh, I forgot how you work. It made the bow pretty good, though. It definitely we should not have used the ally like that. Um, all right. So he's definitely going to be weak to bow, though, this turn. So let's do bow damage three times. Let's do Twin Toxic, Crimson Blast. This guy in the back row still has nothing he's weak to, huh? That feels kind of like bad luck. Go ahead and just Paralyzing Thrust. We're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't even need to do this. You're broken before your turn comes up. You might as well do a full paralyzing thrust. Because the toxic the toxic arrows are gonna break them. And so we don't wanna we don't wanna boost here. You wanna say that for next turn. You do wanna boost though. Okay, so we should be good here. Look how good that attack is. That it's guaranteed to break too, also. Then he's going to attack. Oh, that's right. That's right. The Paralyzing Thrust. I forgot that he that comes in after this. That's my bad. All right. So now we're going to do a True Strike all the way max. The Paralyzing Strike we fucked up, but that's on me. I kind of want just to do this. It's, it's going to be kind of weak because it's not weakness, but 10,094. First time I broke 10,000 damage. All right. Mm, we don't need to boost that right now. I'm going to keep you out. He's going to mix everything up, and then does he just attack like normal? Frightening presence. Okay. Well, the AoE is going to be a good choice then. We do get to come in and dagger him to death. Maybe we just do four. That's eight shields right there. Nine. Ten. We can only do ten shields. From what I see, right? Four, eight, nine. Unless he's weak to... we. I don't know if I've ever attacked him with a fan, so this might just kill him. Let's find out. Nice. All 
Alright, that was pretty sick. Um, I don't... This is where it's a little scary. I don't know if I need... How much I overkill I need to do. I don't want to just burn a bunch of SP for literally no reason. I'll use an ally just to be safe in case um, we need to. We'll do a sting. I really don't want him to survive with like one HP. Cool. Okay. Yeah, Gilderoy is very tanky, but fuck is he so fucking slow, man. God, he's he's so slow, it's annoying. All right. We got the Erd Tree. Avatar of the Erd Tree. Phase two. Our team's looking pretty good. I think this is a fight that... Um, we really struggled on last time. We got our ass kicked. One second. All right, let me pop. I feel like my elbows feels weird, but whatever. Okay. First thing, anti-attack. Do I want to dedicate resources into it? That I'm not sure of. Crippling Bash. Now, if I Spider's Fang, that's pro Spider's Fang probably still doesn't make him good. Doesn't make him good. I think you're just going to incite. Maybe without any BP though. Maybe you'll do it two turns in a row. Because you don't do that much damage. That's right. We should be using BP as soon as we can. It's so hard to actually use it in this fight. I think I do want to go with a full Esoteric Cure here, though, first. You can't use that. The heal, I, I actually think just keeping them bashed might just be better. This is so sketchy, though. I don't really like this. Look how chunky it's running. I'm sorry. wonder how much of his damage is magic. Maybe we should have done Cunning Strikes. That might have been really good. Alright, can we switch? Switching's like not particularly good, but that's three. Four. Five, six. I mean, we're not even close. We could do... Because you don't really want to... Okay, let's just get him ready to be broken next turn. Let's not worry about it this turn, right? Let's not worry about it this turn. In fact, I think we elemental collapse him. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll use an ally. This will bring him down to five. It'll be six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, leaving him with one until he's broken. And then we'll break him next turn. And a full t we'll have two full turns of breaking him. Echo, echo, echo. Is there an echo? If there's an echo, there's only an echo because of probably my audio. He always has light weakness no matter the rotation. That's good. We get our BP back next turn. So we don't need we can't even use it this turn, unfortunately. But we will use the light. He's broken here. Maybe we do um a true strike. Because we get some BP back on our guy. You can't switch. You can switch next turn though. Let's start paralyzing him. I think paralyzing is going to be good. It's so hard to use BP on this fucking guy, man. We got to I think we just got to burn it sooner. Good hit. So now we're in an awkward spot. 
No, we still debuff for three turns. So this turn, next turn. So next turn, we're gonna we're gonna boost. Okay, do a big triple strike. Everyone burn, burn. Mm. Yeah, I guess use Spider Fang. Spider. This is a great time to Spider Fang. It's a good ability. But you still can't switch. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I was wrong. You're still stuck for another turn. I must have looked at the wrong icon. I mean, you might as well... No, now you're not going to do enough damage. You might actually be able to exploit weakness after his rotation. All right. Let's, let's take a second here. That wasn't a great turn for us. Um, just burn 1,800 rubies, not a single four and a half or five star. Feels good. Yeah, I, I could sense the irony. If that sounds poopy to me. Three, six, nine. That's six Maltese. That's bad luck. Ricola. Do you have level 60 weapons? Your damage team is awfully underwhelming. I got level 60 weapons on most of my characters, yeah. On most. Not all, though. Because not all of them are level 60. So we don't know exactly what you're going to be about. I'm just going to... Play it safe and give everyone up front a a juicy boost. We're going to hope that his resistances are all changing. I don't want you to be in the front, do I? Yeah, but a wild blow would be really good. Rousing Lion's Dance could be good, too. How much physical are we going to be doing, do we think? Let's do it. Let's do a full... I like the front row. Luckily, we got the bow, so that worked out for us. What do you think that element is? It could be fan, but he probably always has two elements. It could be... So it could be, what, fire, ice, lightning? It's probably lightning, then? It could be... No, it can't be darkness, right? Darkness is always after light, correct? Burn it all. Won't attack when dead. All right, that's fair. Is it always darkness after light? I don't. Yeah, I don't remember either. We're gonna go all in on lightning here and book attacks, and we're not going to use BP on this though. I really want this guy to get. More, I want my guy in the back to get more SP. We'll try Wild Blow, but I don't think so. You think it's fire? I only have one fire attack, and it doesn't matter. All right, let's try it. Let's take a look. Let's experiment. It is fire. I That's the only fire attack I have, though, so it's not... Oh, shit, does he have counter magic on? I didn't even notice. I, I shouldn't have been looking at chat. Physical counter stance. All right, so now we need to use the magic. Well, you know, that's fine. Again, I think we just use BP as it comes up. BP is too hard to use in this. That's 37. That's kind of expensive. You'll be switching in next turn. So I guess you just use... This guy just burns your BP so easily. Like, some of these damages are so fucking weak. Especially when there's no weakness and he's got these shields up, like, you feel like a scrub. Okay, no. Okay, now it's magic counter stance. I, I didn't fuck up as much as I thought. Okay, so he's broken on... Yeah, that's kind of a late turn to be broken, though. Okay, break here, then. I think we, um... I think we keep you out. I think we keep you out. And I think we um, do a big old heal here.
let's bo let's 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 put them in timeout. That's what you get. You're in timeout. All right, so let's take a look here. We don't have any BP. The only reason I'm having her out right now is to give her a heal because she's going to be safe because the twin toxic arrows is going to break them. We need to do an attack down next turn. So we should just do the attack down this turn, right? Anti-attack this turn. He has magic counter stance, but I don't think it'll counter a non-damaging magic attack. Um, the attack we're doing on Gilderoy will use a times four next turn. The heal more is just to get everyone back alive. And so this is this is like a defensive setup turn to hopefully do a good chunk of damage, get him down to... We'll have to break him a third time for sure. Wait till you get to a fight where they can revive one another? Oh, that sounds fun. I have the... Uh, okay... I thought that my other character was the one almost dead. So we're just going to book him. We're just going to book him. We're just going to bow him. And we're just going to paralyze him. Six poison on him. But we the we definitely need the attack and magic down. He's hitting too hard right now. 9,811. I mean, he's basically our party right now. Ashland is literally outperforming every five star by a long shot. Okay, no ally this turn because we don't know what his elements are going to be. And we only have three more uses. We're, we got to switch. Oh, you might just die here, actually. Mm. I wasn't thinking about that. Well, if you die, you die, right? Go ahead and use Maelstorm. Go ahead and use um, Shield Breaker. Go ahead and just you just attack. Oh, I don't know what that is about. That's got to be fan, right? That's got to be fan. I wonder if this ally is good enough. Increase our speed defense. It's a little slow. Hmm. So he's going to do something big here, right? What if I do this? Are you going first? Oh, he's got double attacks right now. Okay. He's got... um. He's got double attacks coming in. All right, what am I going to do here? I'm prepped, though, for the next content update. Almost got most of my units to Tier 3 Innocent Weapons. I don't know what Innocent Weapons are, but we'll find out eventually. Um... Do you, how much damage are you going to do? You're probably doing enough damage where I just want Gilderoy up front. But you're too, Gilderoy is too slow to ever be good. You just attack four times. You're probably getting all your BP stolen anyway. I think we have literally no choice but to do an anti-attack times like max. Maybe not max. We want to break him soon. All right, so we're hitting him for four, five shields. This would be four, five, six, seven, eight shields, and nine, 10, 11, 12. Then next turn, we'll be able to break them relatively easily. The issue is he has that physical counter stance on, so we don't want to do this. That physical counter stance, huh? You don't have a... I mean, you could do the chain shadow reaver, but that's so bad. Maybe we just... You don't want to use your boost. We just do the shadow strike. 
Hmm. This is rough. But we could use the, the fan attack next turn. On turn three, you get all your three third phase. Got it. He did take all my fucking BP. Oh, no. He took all my BP, but I don't think I had a choice. Triple edge, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Ten. This should break him. Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If he's weak to fan, I don't know that. But what else could it be? I don't think it could be book. You don't need a double sting. You could attack four times. That should help. Four, five, six, seven. It's still close. But if he is weak to fan, that'll be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He'll be broken immediately. It was fan. But can we finish it off? If we don't finish him off this turn, we're f maybe fucked. Who's going to do more damage? A 1 BP with weakness at 190 or a guaranteed crit there? I don't think this kills him, um, but you are weak to axes, so this might help a little bit more. Are you the only one lagging? Uh, hopefully, the, the content might be lagging a little bit because of a, um, basically just because of a, um, I'm streaming from my phone. This isn't going to kill him. The, this is basically what I'm deciding. Do I just let him kill my front row next turn? when he goes first and then rely on my back row to finish off what little HP he has. That might work. Because I have to miss a lot of damage in order to heal this turn. But is missing a lot of damage to heal this turn that bad? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see if sacrificing my front row is worth it. That was a pretty weak hit. Yeah, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought. Not even close. All right, well, we're definitely dead here, so let's just set everyone up to, to heal and see what happens. I mean, you're, there's no doubt. We're not even going to pretend that you're going to live. We're just going to chain lightning. Yeah, let's paralyzing thrust. Mm, actually, only she died. That's pretty good. Wow, look how fast he's gotten. Is this the magic counter turn? Oh, no. Because it's the magic counter turn... Wait, is it magic counter or physical counter? counter? With attack up. I think it's physical counter with attack up. Four, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. All right, I think we're good on this phase. I think we're good on this phase. So he's not weak to fire. 
I don't think it could be ice. I wish I could hover over him and look at all the weaknesses I've discovered. You did get paralyzed. So once we break him, though, it, it ends his counter, right? It's got to. So let's do this. He's broken. Let's just, this is, mm, is that going to be better? Than, we'll, we'll do tornado this turn. And then you just attack. I mean, I guess attack for both. Good hit, buddy. All right, let's do a triple edge. Luminescence. A blooming onion. A spider fang. An attack. No more allies left. Got it. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty intense fight so far. I mean, let's hope phase three isn't as bad, <laughs> but it might be even worse. <sighs> it is not over. Ah, oh, four divine rings. I give unto you my soul. Grant me power true. Man. Please lend me your strength. Sister. What a cool enemy. I, I honestly, it's not as cool as phase two, though. I am. I, thank you for the follow. Etika Hinzo. Sorry if I fucked up the name. I'm focused on this right now. I am the one true king. This realm, all of it, all is mine. No matter what stands. Man, my my connection is so laggy right now. This is bullshit. Turn the music up. All right. I'll try to turn down the... Here, let me do this. Is that better? Can you guys hear it? And then what I could do is I can come over here and I could turn down my TV. So it doesn't get too loud for me. Hopefully avoids the echo, but it's still loud enough for you guys. Where the fuck is the, um... Maybe I could just do it like this. How's that? The sound's been on the whole time, but it's probably just been quiet. It, it, I can't really tell the sound levels. Now that I don't have headphones, it's like way harder. I need to buy some new headphones. I probably will just so I can do better streams. That's a good heal. Okay, so she's back there. Is she controllable? No. Okay. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to start with uh, giving a good old attack down. I'm going to start with continuing that attack down. Eh. Our healer moves faster, so we don't need to heal this turn unless he one-shots us, in which case, whatever, what we're going to do anyway. Um, is Incite good? Let's just Incite and hope it's good. Oh, a whole lot of jack shit discoveries there. You attack the right guy. Whoa! Whoa! Someone tell this lady to join my party. I've decided I want her. All right, we'll try fire. We know this works. So before we lose all of our BP, let's use it. We know this doesn't work. Let's go ahead and do a double sting. And we might as well, I think we should still, again, use our BP. It just, it's going so fast. And then you don't need to incite anymore. You could test. 
I mean, you could test lightning too. If it works, it's insane. Not fire, but daggers. That's very good news. This guy's got inf infinite HP, man. Triple paralysis, though. Look at this guy's HP. What the fuck? Yeah, he's got it. Mm, I'm actually not going to use his BP. I still have to test book. Wind. Testing darkness is so annoying because I only have it on these two characters and I ha already have, I know daggers work. But we know bow doesn't work, right? We tried bow. You can't switch out, so you're just kind of here. Um, we'll try a paralyzing thrust. Max BP for Theo heals. That, that's probably good. I mean, the Theo heal is like, it doesn't change the healing. It just changes the amount of turns. But sure. His attack down is getting ready to end. And it's not bad to have. God, I, I hate not having Paradier, man. I'm so reliant on using him. Like, so it's got to be Sword. Maybe Sword, Light, Ice. We can't use Ice. I mean, ice would not, uh, I light would not su surprise me at all. Let's try, um, oh, that's all we get. You know what? Let's use this. Elemental defense and speed and 10%. Nah, let's just, no, but we know Thunder doesn't do anything. We know Bow doesn't do anything. Our allies, we used all our allies in the last fight. Definitely was that. Who is that? Hey, thanks for the defensive dance, buddy. All right, so what do you think? What do you think this last weakness is? Ice. I think it's probably ice too. So thank God we can switch you in now. I think we do do a max triple edge here. I mean, I like doing the crippling bash. The spider fang. How good is the spider fang, though? This is a good turn for Theo, but I, unless he moves his shit around, I don't think it's going to be very good. Yeah, it is ice. I think that's what we narrowed it down to. All right, I'm going to hope that he switches up his shit. So we're going to switch everyone. Maybe I um win prone. Might as well. We're losing a BP regardless if we don't use one of her BP. So I think I'm okay with this. We're not going to switch you because we know that you do shield breaker. Um, we want you out of there if possible. Do you still have insight? Let's go ahead and just put that back up. Okay, you do switch. And it's actually like opposite of what it was before. So it's not going to be... No axes? Okay, so it's got to be... One of them might still be sword. Bow, fan. Maybe it's bow and fan. It might be book. And it's probably fire or lightning. I kind of want to leave you up. Do we hope it's a bow? We only have one more use of that guy. And it might become bow later. It's ice. It, it, it can't be ice. We already knew it was ice. Unless I missed that message when it was uh, relevant. 
So it's probably fire then. All ailments were cured. Man, can I want her to join my team, no doubt. Okay, so we're going to do a f big old fire crimson blast. You're not really doing much. It's always light. Well, don't need to use your BP on that, though. Oh, it is bow. It is bow. That's actually fucking wonderful news. Look how good damage that is, too, man. This is wonderful. Okay, so you're going to Crimson Blast again. You are going to do a full True Strike. Just absolutely fuck them. You're going to do a full this. Absolutely fuck them. You... You think it's fan? Let's just... Let's just hope it's fan. I really wish we could do this. I just don't think it's practical right now. You just want to break them and deal heavy damage. It was not fan, but it means it's probably going to be fan next time. So that's got to be book weakness, right? Oh, so this, yeah, that's right. This is the turn he's broken. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a full heal again. And I'm going to break his face with a book. I'm going to true strike again. And I'm going to Paralyzing Thrust. That's great damage. It was Book. So now that it is at least discovered, so we don't need to wonder. Why don't you fucking heal me sometime, lady? I think we're going to go with an Anti-Attack again. Mailstorm. I want to try Chain Shadow Reaver, just in case, you know, and then a Wild Blow. Oh, three elements, huh? So that has to be Lightning, right? Isn't there literally no other choice? Oh, no, never mind, a Wind. So that must mean he takes no damage until he's broken. You awaken to your Gilderoy? My Gilderoy is zero awaken. My Gilderoy has no awakens. He is five star, though. It's got to be swords, right? Oh, but it's lightning also. No, it's not lightning. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get our defensive power. He doesn't. That's that's the answer. He's only got three. He's just got his attack. Um, we could do this. Might as well shield breaker. Mailstorm is essential. But I start to feel Awakening is more important than the unit itself. Like, 4-star fully Awakened is probably going to be better than a 5-star not Awakened. Probably. I think you're right. Where do we find the next area? Ripple Tide? Ripple Tide's, um, if you follow, just if you make it, you're, if you prioritize the quest that tells you to go there, it'll give you an icon that'll, to follow. We need Noel to live. That's one, two, three, four. This should be five. But I don't I don't know. The the shield breaker didn't seem to do anything. So we should but he's broken before he gets to attack again. I know I don't attack with non-weaknesses. I'm not. Everything here I'm attacking with is a weakness besides shield breaker. 
But Shield Breaker breaks even if it's not a weakness. Oh, you don't think it breaks them in this case? That could be interesting. Okay. Well. Then, um, I literally can't not attack him with these characters. I have no choice, I think. Might as well do... Well, let's just experiment for sure, just to make sure. You're absolutely right. Are dancers stronger? Like, is this 110 times 3? That's 330. Is that going to be better than my potency of ice? I don't remember if dancers are physical or magical. She does have the passive of increased attack damage while at full HP, which she is at. So that's probably going to be better. Why can't you do it? Oh, are you paralyzed this turn? It's tornado. I mean, is Triple Edge good? I don't know. Do I do the anti-attack this turn? I could do it next turn. Yo, what's up, Hutch? That was great damage. Absolutely. Good job, Noel. Yeah, this lady's badass. All right, so now we want to do the anti-attack. I think I want to switch you back in and do a... I don't know, just, just do that. You, it's going to take a minute to break. You can't switch because he's paralyzed still, I guess. Okay. Hopefully, um, this doesn't fuck me. We'll find out. That's got to be lightning or dark. You think it's lightning or dark? Intercept non-weak point, huh? Lightning or dark, do you think? You think lightning? Is dark after light? Okay. So it goes light and then dark. So this guy can never be immune to, can never be resistant to that. So we're going to do this then. Makes this guy good for the first time in the fucking fight. Let's go. Wonderful that he's weak to this right now. We actually still have an ally that could help us with this. Ooh, hello. Excuse me. I would love you to heal everybody. You can't do anything. So you have to do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. We have one more ally and he luckily uses lightning. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bringing them down to with one left. We could break them. But I don't think I don't think we want to break him. I think we're okay. I think healing is better than breaking him right now. Because we wouldn't be able to break him until after his attack. That is a god blow. No joke. Fine. I'm so happy that Gilderoy is good for a second. Gilderoy always sucks, man. And I know maybe that's not a popular opinion, but fuck you, Gildroy. He, he's so bad all the time, it feels like. Oh, we can Crimson Blast. Um, Do you get your juice back next turn? Crimson, We'll do a full Crimson Blast, because the second hit will hit a broken enemy. 
You can't really do anything here, unfortunately. You get your shit back next turn, though. Uh, we need you to keep your juice for next turn. Actually, we don't. We don't, because this guy's broken. So we can do our full juice right now. Um, maybe Rousing Lion Dance? Are you faster than him or slower? You're faster than Ashland. That should help us. That should help us. More hits, please. Not super strong, unfortunately. I mean, I think we just... I think we just attack with you. You just Spider Fang and hope for the best. You just Luminescence. And you just use a big old Fulgore. He's not dying this turn for sure. The slow is not going to help us right now. Some of this damage is fucking embarrassing. Compared to Ashland. I think this is a perfect turn to heal more. Because we don't know what he's going to do, right? We'll just, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's just... Keep it, keep it healed, bro. Keep it healed. Shield breaker isn't going to work because this guy has the ultimate shield of bullshit. So let's, um, let's hope wild blow works. Wild blow definitely is not going to work, by the way. Daggers do, though. Is it possible? Is that guaranteed sword or could that be spears? How do you choose allies? You just go around and pick which, you, you, you know, path actions let you choose allies. Is it possible that this is a spear? Or is it, can spear come before dagger or is it always sword? I don't know if I've tested spears when he's been vulnerable. We're going to attack times four. You are going to triple edge. You're going to mail storm, and I think we got to use our BP. It, it could be spear. Okay. I don't think we've tested spear yet. I don't want to go... You know what? I think we do go all in, because if that guy gets hit, that's kind of what he does anyway, right? Does God Blow just bring him down to one HP? Because that's, like, literally not scary. That's a guaranteed not losing. All right. Well, it's definitely not that one. It's <laughs> it's definitely swords. All right. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. He's being broken. And then we do we rousing lion dance for next turn. Because you don't do that much damage. Let's try this. Multiple hit. Damage is irrelevant. Their damage is shit. You definitely want... um, You'd want multi-hits. You want things that help you kill things. I should have paid attention that I wouldn't quite kill him. Or that we wouldn't break him before he had a chance to go. I will slay father. I will slay the Mad King Pardis the Third. Thank you. Well, isn't that a nice little treat? Thank you. I appreciate that. What a what a nice what a nice woman. Is this the most possible damage we could do? I think I think Noella does more damage than Millard. Par Paralyzing Thrust isn't that powerful, but it's still stronger than the other stuff we could do. Her DLC is going to be $1,000. Hey, you know, <laughs> it's worth it. Excuse me, Mr. Robot, can you, like, not?
so many so many AIs, bro. Platt, you ever heard of Tactics Ogre? I've never played it, but yeah, I've definitely heard of it. I plan on playing the remake when it comes out in November. It's one of my favorite games. I can't wait. Actually going to stream it. Well, Hutch, guess what? I'll be in the audience. I don't think this will quite kill him. If he was weak to bows and we can use Ashland, I think we could. But we're using... We're not... We're not quite going to get there, I don't think, with this turn. He has a lot of HP left. We're going to do what we do when we when we doubt, when we don't know what his things are going to be to. We're going to heal. We're going to lower his stats. We are going to poison him, and we are going to boost us, and then we'll go all out next turn. Oh, why did it uh, delete your message? What happened there? Oh, yeah, we're get we're going. We're going in. We're going in. Bitch, I'm going in. And I'm going hard. Go ahead and Crimson Blast. It's still good. Quit taking my BP, by the way. Let's go. Ashland's going to get that kill. I know it. Same exact second verse, same as the first. Put user in timeout. No, we'll hide user on this channel. All right, here we go. Is this it? Ashland, do your thing. Ashland was destined to get the hit. Chase is at it with the porn box again. Honestly, Chase, thanks for the viewer bump. 202,000. Ashland is already strong enough. He's at the cap. There we go. Checkmate. GG. I am officially the greatest content creator that plays this game. Anyone else that's ever created content for this game now owes me all their all their subscribers.